This is hypersonic propulsion systems. Hypersonic uh, is a system that would allow, uh, pro or would use propulsion to allow a system to fly and or travel faster than Mach 5. That's Mach 5, almost 4,000 miles an hour. Fast enough to go from New York to Japan in under two hours. The scramjet, as it is called, is not a traditional engine. There are no moving parts like fans or compressors. Instead, it uses air traveling at high speeds to power it. The faster the air goes into the engine, the faster the vehicle goes. The momentum of the air coming in is going to be the, that of it going out. So if you want to, if you want to compare it, you know, you have uh, slow moving air coming in, slow, slow moving vehicle, slow moving out. Same high, high speed coming in, high speed going out, high, the velocity of the vehicle will be extremely fast. So our own Mach 3, you have enough energy in the air coming in to make, it, to make it ignite. And that could really change plane and even space travel. But there's a major hurdle that needs to be overcome. The scramjet can't achieve those speeds standing still. As this animation shows, it needs to piggyback off a rocket or other plane to get moving at speeds where its Mach 5 engine kicks in. So for now, it remains a technology in the Air Force's labs. Yet researchers are dreaming about the future. We can use this at a bigger scale as a transportation device, and obviously it would have uh, very long distances with a very short amount of time. Also, a single stage to orbit application, which we'd be getting uh, manned to space without having to go through multiple stages in, like a rocket would. For CNN Money, I'm Matt Stewart.